Welcome back to Friday Art with me, Kate Field. This is part two of the creating exciting abstracts. So if you haven't watched part one, you might want to go back and do that. Because that would be good, wouldn't it? I really hope you're enjoying this journey. I am having so much fun. I just love being in my studio and sharing my thoughts and my ideas and my skills and my techniques with you. So let's get going. So we've now got eight designs or however many that you've done of the smaller ones. And then it started to put together some larger, larger ones. And so what we're going to do now is a much bigger, well not much bigger, a little bit bigger piece. And this is um, about 20, 20 centimetres square. Um, it's about um, eight inches, something like that. Whatever fits on your page in your in your book. I've masked it out because I like um, I like to work in that sort of space. You can just draw a square, a rectangle, whatever you want. Now the idea is that you're going to take some of the ideas that you've done before, some of the techniques, think about the things that you really like, think about how you want to put the paint onto the page, whether you're going to use a sponge or the scraper or a brush or a mixture of all of those. And then you're going to decide what colours you're going to use. But I am going to restrict you. So you're going to have a choice because I'm a good teacher. I'm a kind teacher like that. You're going, going to choose whether you want to use warm colours. So our warm colours are reds and orange and yellow and pink, the, the sort of bright pink. Think of the, the sunshine. Or you can have cool colours. So blues, dark greens, purples. So you decide on this first one. Now, you are going to do the other one as well, but you decide which one you're going to start with. I am going to start with my warm colours and I'm also going to include black and white. Just a bit of white there and then a oh, little bit of black. Okay, so think about what you enjoyed when you were doing your experiments. And this is going to determine how you're going to start. So for me, I think I'm going to go with my sponge. I'm going to do a combination, I think, of using a sponge. I'm going to create a few very loose shapes. And then I think I'm going to use my scraper as well. OK, so I'm going to put some shapes down. On here, quite liking that, quite loose, and I'm going to start with um, some white in sort of roughly these spaces. Quite like the the textures there. Can't really see that very well. And then I'm going to start to put in some textured pink. And then I'm going to change and move to my scraper. Quite liking that. You can see that I'm not blending any of these colours at the moment. We will do that a bit later like that a little bit of orange you see i had a bit of yellow on that and you see what's happening there there's a little bit of yellow a little bit of orange scraping it across oh i love working with acrylic no water 
I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to pick up my sponge. Do a bit of a, a bit of a combination. So you're going to fill your page. Do I need a little bit of orange again, I think. And then I'm going to add that white up there. Okay, so very, very loose. And then we can start to work into each space. Now, if you want to use a brush, you do that. You start putting together some ideas using your brush. Moving this across. There's no right or wrong. You do what uh, what feels good. And if even if it kind of goes, oh no, I don't like that. It's fine. Remember, these are they're experimental pieces. It's important that you allow yourself to play. I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'm going to work on it a little bit later. So I'd work on my other space. Just using the sponge. Again, using these warm colours. And then as I'm... Going down into this end bit here, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of black. So bring that in just a little bit. Quite loose. I am really liking that effect. I like the, the textures that are in there. Should we, uh, we have a bit of a, a zoom down? Oh, look at that. That's quite lush, isn't it? Loving it. So I'm just going to leave those two to dry. Back onto this one. I'm just using my scraper, using the edge to make some marks on the uh, the lines that I'd originally put down. Quite liking that. So a little bit. It's kind of a jaggedy line. Which makes it quite it's quite interesting. Quite liking that. And the other thing that you can do with um, your end of the scraper is to make marks. A bit like that we did with the um, with the toilet roll. I'm trying to think, I'm going to use the toilet roll again. Actually, I did like that. I think that was uh, quite effective. Quite effective. Yeah. Where is it? Here we go. So, uh, yeah, so, oh, I'm just making a mess here. This is good, sticking it in. <laughs> Loving it. Let's just uh, let's put some marks, put in some marks on. Of course, you can use um, whatever colour you want within, within your palette. <laughs> Remember, this is warm that I'm doing now. Um, no, oh, I'm, I'm. This, this is good. This is, this is going, um, going well. I'm liking it. Oh, good fun. That's yeah. That's that's getting quite dynamic. Let's do something similar now. On here, let's use the uh, toilet roll in a slightly different way. I'm still going to be using the end. I thought we're going to do a bit of twists a bit of twisting making those kind of smudgy marks you can do this while the painting is wet but it's sometimes if, if if it's dried if the majority of dried now i'm rolling just thought oh 
How's that going to work? It's quite good. Quite like that. I hope you're enjoying it. I, hope you, I really do. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be having uh, having some fun. Just got to put a bit of uh, bit of yellow on there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave those two. Uh, let's just take the uh, masking tape off. You don't have to use masking tape, but I quite like having a clean edge to pieces. It kind of helps my brain think about what um, what I want to do next um, with the pieces. So it was also hugely satisfying tearing off bits of uh, masking tape. It's great fun. I am particularly liking this one. What do you think? Which one's... Uh, are you happy? I like them both, actually. I really do like them both. So now we're going to move on to the cool colours. Okay, we're now switching to our cool colours. So I'm going to be using blue, green and purple. Plus the black and white that we had before. And okay, we'll focus on this one. Same as we did with our warm colours. If you want to, you can draw out some, some lines. I will do that on one of them, but I think with this one, I'm just going to put colours on directly to the page. Now, if you want to, you can mix some of your colours up because by now we should have a good idea of what the paint's going to do. <laughs> you never know exactly what it's going to do. But let's see, this is quite nice when we start to move move the paint around the page Can you see that so the lights the light has dimmed a little bit here so we've got really terrible weather here at the moment in southwest england it's really not pleasant at all i am so looking forward to the spring i really am okay let's uh, I'm liking this. I'm liking the textures that we get. Let me just uh, zoom down a touch there. So a lot of energy, a lot of energy going on here. And when that dries, those ridges will stay um, as, as a texture. And I think that can look really good. Okay, we're now going to, let's move on to this one. Let's just pull that up a bit. There you go. And this time I'm going to use a sponge. I'm going to go straight in with some of the purple. Just uh, using this sponge in a slightly different way to create these sort of wisps. Uh, and I, I quite like that. So, so this is just using a very small amount of paint on the sponge. So you can see really two very different techniques using exactly the same paint. Let me just add a little bit there. I am liking this idea. It's like the wind has swept in. I think with abstracts, you can uh, quite often find a bit of a story. And I do like a story. I do like a narrative in, uh, in work. Of course, you can make the story whatever you want. <laughs> That's 
that's fun. Right, I'm going to just do this tiny bit of green now. So bring that in. Okay, now the other thing that I'm going to use in this is a bit of rag. This is just an old bit of cotton sheeting, scrunching it up. And I'm just going to dab, I'm going to dab again, picking up some of the colour, putting it across like that, quite liking that. And I'm going to put some tiny bits of black. So I hope you're getting a little bit braver with your experiments. You can see I'm scratching into that scraffito. It's a great technique. Again, just using my little plastic spatula. I'm liking that effect very much, actually. I'm going to do a little bit there with the green, taking that off. that about so I hear that I'm gonna go back oh let's, uh, let's just go back to that one a little bit I think Tiny bits of green before it dries completely. Tiny bit. Black. And there we have our two larger ones. Let's just take those pieces off. They're looking, uh, they're looking rather good. I'm going to leave those to dry and then we can just finish those off and then that will be it. Okay, so now I'm just going to make Make some kind of scribbly marks over here. I think I might use the my fatter one. Just a few here. Not too much because I'm quite liking the uh, the effect on this. I just put some marks over here. Oh, I'm quite liking that. And with uh, that, I think we're done. I really hope that you have enjoyed these two lessons in creating your own truly fabulous piece of abstract art using acrylic paint. And I hope that you're going to join me next time for Friday Art. Take care.